afternoon. Fuck, good evening. It's about 6.20. You probably won't recognise it, but I'm back in Orford. It's the 14th of September, 2021. And I'm back resuming the English coastal path. See how far I get. I'd like to get to Harwich, which I believe is about 80 miles away. But we'll see. The weather's been rubbish today. The six hour drive down was horrendous. But um, it's forecast to improve. Okay, I've now left Orford after about 10 minutes. And I'm heading towards Sudbourne Hall on this nice track. I'm guessing it's some sort of pheasant. I've passed through Sudbourne Hall. Quite nice. I think private residents now live in it. Um, I'm walking through the woods. It is getting a little bit dark. Sunny is starting to go down. But my next target is Chillisford or Chili's Ford. <laughs> Not sure how you say it. But I think I'm about to walk through a pig farm. I can see a lot of pig pens in the field ahead of me. I could smell them, but I didn't see any. <laughs> but I know they're there because they stink. Morning everybody. <laughs> I've just had to get up really quickly. Um, this little patch of grass here behind me is where I stayed last night. And it's just on the edge of a field. I got a bit of a shock because I could hear the tractors moving. But I've left. Left nothing behind, as usual. And I'm on my way. It's just past six o'clock. Which is about the time I wanted to start anyway, so I'm quite pleased the farmer did wake me up. I've now reached Burrow Hill. That's it in front of me there. It's, uh, it's not really a hill. It's not even 20 metres high above sea level. As you can see, I'm finally walking next to the water. This is the English coastal path after all. I've just passed Butley Ferry. Wrong boat really. But I'm gonna keep going for another hour and then stop and have some, some breakfast. I've now reached a place called Oxley Dairy and I'm going to have a short break here, maybe half an hour. Have some porridge and some coffee. Keep us going for the next nine miles until I get to a proper town. As you can probably see and hear, I'm now in a place called Shingle Street. One of the famous Martello Towers, Napoleonic. <laughs> that Martello Tower, which you can now see behind me, is one of four along this stretch of the coastline. So for the next two miles or so, I should be passing another three. I'm 
I'm now walking along this minor public road. I've went through Bowsy, or Bowsy, I think you pronounce it. But there's nothing there. So I've just come straight through past the school and I'm on my way to Bowsy Ferry. I'm going to be completely honest and it's a bit despondent to see the Bowsy Ferry literally 200 metres across the water would save me 18 miles. But rules are rules. You've got to do it under your own power. So I'm going to continue just taking a short break. I'm sat amongst the reeds next to the seawall. The seawall is overgrown so I'm walking on the sea side of the uh, embankment. It's fairly dry um, but it's tough going through the, um, the vegetation. I'm about halfway between the ferry and um, Rams Holt where I believe there's a pub so I'm going to stop there for some lunch we're getting there <sighs> as you could probably see I had to work my way through a, some dense nettles for 100 metres or so and then on the edge of the potato field. I've had a nice long break. That pulled pork burger was amazing. Stunning, loads of pork, loads of chips. Oof. I'm a happy man. So yeah, I'm on my way towards Melton. I think I've got about six miles, which isn't so bad because it's only half past one, so I've got plenty of time. Phew, it's warm. I've just gone past the point where I had planned to stop for today anyway. That would have been about 18 miles. However, it's only just gone 2.20 in the afternoon and I've got five hours of sunlight left. So my feet feel okay. So I'm just going to plod on, see how far I get. It's only about four miles back to Melton in the car. So... That seems like the next target. <sighs> oh. Sorry, brambles. I'm just walking through a place called Little Sutton Hoare. That's about a mile from Melton. Good morning, I'm in Ipswich. Ipswich. Morning. Finally managed to find my way back to the Suffolk coastal path on the uh, western side of the River Devon. I'm now going to walk along this for the next 10 miles or so. It's a beautiful day, sun's shining already. It's only nine o'clock. There was a nice path on the other side. This isn't too bad, but the grass here is still wet, so the trousers are now soaked. I've had to come off that 
embankment because the vegetation is too thick. I'm now walking on the uh, bottom of the embankment, which is a little bit wet, but manageable. That is the footpath. So I'm going to have to divert inland for about a kilometre and then come back. But uh, there's no way across there. It's pretty tough going. I'm having to sort of find my own way around this marsh. I'm just north of Waldingfield and I've had a short break. I've uh, made myself a quick cup of coffee. And I'm going to carry on through Walding Field. I'm not going to go to the pub, but I'm going to carry on through Walding Field, work my way back to the to the coast. Going to get wet. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. That's the pub yesterday where I had my beautiful pulled pork burger. It's about 21 miles ago. I've had myself a coffee and a bottle of water from Felixstowe Ferry. Three miles to go into Felixstowe. Been a good day actually. Enjoyed myself. There's another of those Martello Towers. It's the sixth one, I believe, in two days. I think it's the last one I'll see for a while. I'm heading for my hotel now. I've come off the uh, coast path. Good morning. It's Friday the 17th of September 2021. Today's plan is to walk up the east side of Orwell River, having left Felix Store obviously, and then to walk up the side of the river for the next 10 miles or so towards Ipswich. And when I get to Ipswich, or just before Ipswich, cross over the Orwell Bridge and then head down the head down the west side. That was funny. <laughs> I just rang the guy up and told him where I was. He asked whether I was on the container side or the wooded side. So I told him and then he just um, obviously released the gates. I've now left the racket behind me and I've entered a place called Trimley Marshes. I think it's a nature reserve, I saw the sign. Well, I was hoping to pop into the marina near Stratton Hall. However, there's a big fence. They clearly want to keep the walkers away because they had a public footpath sign steering them away from the marina. So it's a shame because if there's a cafe there, I could have used it. Just when I was bitching about having no coffee, that place appeared just round the corner. <laughs>
There's the Orwell Bridge. I've just come over there. It's very noisy, very dirty, as you'd imagine. But it's done now. I'm heading down the west side of the river, Orwell, for the next hour and a half to Chalmiston, I think it's called. Um, and then I'm going to see how far I can get from there. Maybe another couple of miles beyond there. Had a pint at the uh, at the marina, and fortunately the girls let me charge my phone up because the battery was getting a bit low. There's the views out over the the river Orwell. Plenty of boats. Better be careful. <laughs> Just walking past those guys where they're felling the trees, and there are dozens of old semi sunk boats in the, in the marshes, in the mud flats just here. It's strange. They've obviously been there a long time. Just to let you know where I'm at. I've walked past Pin Mill in the pub, didn't fancy another drink, but uh, that was where I had planned to stop tonight, however it's only four o'clock so I'm going to try and push on for another couple of hours, see how far I get. My foot's a bit sore, my right foot as usual, but slowing is down a little bit but it's not stopping me. Not fully. That's me now done for today. I'm about two miles short of Shotley Gate. I've got a great view over the water and right in front of me is the Felixstowe docks. I can just about hear the rumble but um, it's quite nice actually. Um, I'm hoping the ship looks like it's fully laden. I'm hoping it's going to move so I can see it tonight. Move. It'd be interesting but yeah I think I've done about uh, 21 miles today a bit more than I thought but um, I felt all right and um, there's plenty of daylight so there we go two miles to Shotley Gate I'm gonna slow things down in the morning because I want to try and get there and get something to eat from the shop if there's a shop That's my view this morning from the tent. Isn't it beautiful? It's Friday the 18th of September 2021 and I'm heading for a place called Manning Tree which is another 18 miles or so along this English coastal path. I'm walking along this beautiful track on top of yet another embankment towards Shotley Gate, which I think is about two miles away. I might have said last night. I'm just passing through the Felix Store dock, which is on the other side of the river, Orwell. It's about 20 past seven in the morning. Fairly late for me to get started really, but I didn't want to get into Shotley Gate until eight o'clock in the hope that there may be a shop or a cafe that are open so I can get uh, get some refreshments. Just walking us to the Felix store. <laughs> Sorry, 
I'm walking, when you walk through this high vegetation, you get spiders webs in your face. I'm just walking past the Felix Stowe dock. Looks further away in the photo there, the picture, but it's actually reasonably close. I couldn't find a hot drink in Shotley Gate, but I did manage to find a builder who was doing some work at a house who thankfully filled up me water bottles for me. I've left the Stowa in Orwell Walk because it heads inland a little bit and meanders around for a bit. And I'm following a, it is a marked footpath along the edge of the river for the next four miles. Um, I don't know what standard it's going to be, but I'm on it at the minute and it looks okay. This is a place called Shot and Ho. There's a pub in a shop here. It is in the Stour and Orwell footpath. And it's slightly off the sea path, which I wanted to take, but I needed to come and get something to drink and eat. I'll keep this brief because um, I don't have a lot of battery power on my phone. But I've finally reached Manning Trees at the head of the river Stour. It's hot today and I'm struggling. I've already had about five litres to drink. Um, and I could do with some more. It's warm. But this is Manning Trees. Here at last, I'm going to find a pub and have some more to drink. Good news. I had a pint. <laughs> Just in a pub called The Crown on the edge of Manning Tree. And I also managed to get this phone charged up. So yeah. Um, about a mile from the main centre of Manning Tree. I'm going to get there first. And then I'm going to try and push on for another two miles outside of Manning Tree. That will make for a shorter day tomorrow to get to the ferry at Harwich. When I cross this white bridge, it's called, I'm leaving Sussex and entering Essex. It's another county ticked off. <laughs> I've just been walking along the B1352 for the last two miles from Mistley till I get to the first public right of way to get us back on the coast. It's quite a busy road for a B road, um, wasn't much fun. It's tea time. I've got the stove on the go, um, I've got some pasta and some pasta sauce, so I'm going to fill my boots tonight and uh, have a good meal, um, get a cup of coffee as well. It's about six o'clock, I'm going to hang here for half an hour, have my tea, and then I'm going to move on for about a mile, and then find somewhere suitable to pitch my tent. Good morning, long time no see. Sunday the 19th. I apologise that I haven't made any videos. The phone ran out and the only reason I'm able to do this one is I found a McDonald's and I managed to charge my phone up. So I'm only about a mile from Harwich in the ferry to take me back to the cart Felix store. Yeah five days of walking, about 80 miles along the edges of the river Deben the Orwell and the Stower to arrive at Harwich.